Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Huck. Today we're doing my July book haul. I have a small book haul today. I only have six books to haul, which is very exciting to me because my last two book hauls I feel like were very large. Um, so I have six to chat about. It'll be a quick little book haul. Let's get started. Uh, we are going to start, as always, with the new releases. So first up, we have Six Crimson Cranes by Elizabeth Lim. And this is a YA fantasy retelling of the fairy tale The Six Swans, uh, which is a fairy tale that I have really enjoyed retellings of before, but I think it's cranes instead of swans in this version. Also, I like right before filming this, I just realized that Juliet Marillier blurbed this and said, a must read told with flair and originality, readers will be captivated. And one, we all know I love Julia Marillier, and two, Daughter of the Forest is also a retelling of the six uh, swans. So, I don't know, I feel like that bodes well. I didn't realize that Julia Marillier had blurbed this, so that makes me very excited about this even more. I was already excited for it. Um, yeah, so there's that one. Then, I actually have a lot of retellings uh, in this haul. So the next one is The Lady or the Lion by Amna Kreshi, and this is a retelling of The Lady or the Tiger, which is not a fairy tale I'm super familiar with, so I'm probably going to like brush up on that one before reading this. Uh, but this is about, I think the, our main character has to make a deadly decision for the person she loves about whether they live or die uh, or something like that. But I'm very excited about this and also I love this cover. I don't know how well it's going to come across but it looks like it has texture to it. Like it looks like it there's like a painting with like texture to it which I really like. And then the last retelling that I have is Half Sick of Shadows by Laura Sebastian. This is a retelling of The Lady of Shalott so it's kind of an Arthurian retelling which can be very hit or miss for me but I still am like very intrigued by this. Um, and yeah, so I have never read anything from this author, but I know that she has another series. I think that's the Ash Princess series, which I've heard some very mixed things about. Uh, but I am always kind of intrigued by like Arthurian or like Arthurian adjacent retellings. Uh, I've already started this. I am not very far into it yet. I'm only like, I don't know, like 20 pages, if that. I don't know, Where where's my last? Oh no, I'm 40 pages into it. I'm farther than I thought, but still. Um, not much has happened yet. I don't really know if it's like captured me yet, you know, it hasn't like drawn me in right away, but I think it has potential, so I'm excited about that. Um, and then I also have She Who Became the Sun by Shelley Parker Chan. This is one of the books I was like most anticipating this year. When I did my mid-year book freakout tag about like and there's a question about most anticipated release for the second half of the year. I completely blanked on this one. This is one of my like most anticipated releases. I really hope, I really hope to love this. I know a lot of people in booktube were like very hyped for this book, uh, but it's described as Mulan meets The Song of Achilles, which I have not read The Song of, Achil of Achilles, but I'm familiar with like what it's about. I've heard a lot of people talk about it, but I'm very excited about that. Um, and also, I am realizing that this is blurbed by Tessa Grattan and Tasha Suri and Rebecca Roanhorse and a bunch of other people that I recognize, which makes me very excited about it. So we're even more excited about it. Um, so I think that this is about um, a woman who her brother has like this big destiny that he's supposed to fulfill at, and she has no destiny according to everybody but then her brother dies and she kind of takes up his destiny and his identity and like his life uh and then I think she like becomes a monk for a while and then joins like an army or a rebellion for a while I'm not really sure um but it seems like a lot of things happen but it's very exciting. This has such a beautiful cover. It's actually a lot smaller than I was expecting. I was like both it's shorter and like shorter in length as well. It's like only 400 pages. I thought it was going to be a chunkier book, but I think it's the beginning of a series. So I'm always like a little suspicious of fantasy books that are under like 400 pages and this is just 400 pages. So hopefully, hopefully it'd be good. I'm very excited for this. And then I have two books that were given to me. So my friend Kara sent me two books for my birthday. Uh, so the first one, 
is Ray Bear by Jordan Ifweko. She sent me the UK paperback edition, which is so pretty. Um, so thank you so much for this. It's so beautiful. And then the other one that she sent me was Summer of Salt by Katrina Leno, uh, which is a YA contemporary fantasy or like fabulism, I think, um, about these, I think it's sisters who like live on an island. Uh, but I've heard really good things about this and that it's like very atmospheric. Uh, so I've been wanting to read this for a while. So thank you so much for these, Kara. So those are all the books that I got in July. I feel like July had quite a few new releases that I was really excited about. Uh, are you going to be reading any of these new releases? I just like don't even know where to start with these other than I guess I've already started Half Sick of Shadows. But anyways, thank you all for watching and until next time, bye!